All right, so we are going to work on a multiple exposure. So the, there's a couple of tricks when doing this. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Normally, if you have a white background in a silhouette, that helps and works a little bit better. But for this one, I'm going to get away and we're going to actually use this gray background. All right, we have two other photos we're going to use, this dandelion and this picture of the street. All right, so the trick with doing these is you're not really making much many selections in this image to blend images together. However, what you're doing is using this strong contrast. So in this image, we're gonna drop out black and keep the white. Same thing with this image. We're gonna drop out black and keep more of the midtones and whites. So we're using blending modes instead of selections. However, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna crop this. So I am, this is uh, coming in here. We're gonna crop this. Uh, normally you'd want your subject to uh, not have clothes on. Um, it looks a little weird. We're just going to blacken that out and hopefully that will look better. So that looks pretty good. I think we'll go with that. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to black and white. All right. I'm going to make an adjustment. And just kind of darken her down a little bit. All right. That looks pretty good. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to select her head and her chest, all the skin areas in this image. So we're going to go down here to this background layer and I should probably duplicate that. So we would just duplicate that now. And we'll use the quick selection tool here. And we're just going to select her out. Right. looks pretty good use a little minus try to get that a little bit better all right don't want that we want that all right that's pretty good that's pretty close so first next we will uh, hit selected mask in here and we're going to use smart radius and we're going to make this just a little bit bigger and we're going to go here along halfway on the edge we're just going to pick up all those edge details that we might be missing so yeah i think we'll go with this just want that to blend a little bit better go this way and pick up some of that fine hair detail leave that there all right that looks pretty good now we're going to output this is a new layer with a mask all right cool so now we have this is the new layer to mask with that selection all right <clears throat> so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put uh i don't remember which not the dandelion this one so we're just going to take this. I've already converted it to black and white. We're going to move it over here and drop it on this. And it's not quite big enough, so we're going to make this a little bit bigger. We can get in there and resize and work with it later. I'll bring this and put this above these adjustments so these adjustments affect this, not this. All right that looks pretty good so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this mask and pull it up here and add it to this photo so this is just allowing this image to show just in this area nowhere else that's the only place i want that image to show so that's pretty much how i want it now i want this image to be able to move in here but i don't want the mask to move so we're going to unlock this and now is I'm able to adjust this or able to move the image 
but not the mask. So we're going to hit Command T. We're just going to drag this down a little bit more, and that looks pretty good. Hit Return. All right. Now, I don't want the mask over everything. Um, it's a little bit flat right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to this mask. And we're going to grab just a normal brush. Looks like my flow is already down to 11%. Make this a little bit bigger. Um, and we're going to use the color black. And we're just going to bring her back. Just where those details were. We're just going to bring that back. So for her, we can go over this a lot because we know we want that. I'm going to go over these edges. We're just going to blend this a little bit. So that's kind of half and half. Blend this. Take a lot more of this out. Hit X. I don't want to get rid of that much. That looks pretty good. All right, black. So we're just bringing her back. Um, well, we can get in here and, and and fade this a little bit more. bigger and I don't I want this to be sharp I'm just gonna blend all this a little bit as well all right I don't want that ear to show at all so we're gonna just take that ear totally out all right that looks pretty good now the next thing we're gonna do is I don't want these shoulders and stuff in here to be white so we're gonna go back down to this image here and we're going to make a selection and grab those. Come over here and grab this. All right. That looks pretty good. I'm going to turn this off. For a second I want that color so what we're gonna do is go up here we're gonna create a new layer actually we're gonna go back down here and we're gonna go to selected mask I'm just gonna I want to smooth that out I want to get that better so let's see what it will look like if I That's way better. Just smoothing that selection out so it looks more natural. We're going to leave that as a selection, so we're going to go back in. So I'm going to hit Shift Delete, and we're going to do Color. I'm going to pick that color. Hit OK. And I didn't fill it in the right spot. So Shift Delete. Color is good, and there we go. So we're gonna turn this one back on. That looks pretty weird, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this, hit deselect, and we're just gonna darken this in. So we're gonna fill that up. So I'm making that. Move this up. So I'm just going to blend these two areas here. Blend this area. So we're going to drag this. smaller a little hard to do with this green thing all right all right we're gonna re 
reduce this down. Make this bigger. I'm just gonna put some of that in there. It's just blending, blending, blending. giving me trouble just changing these opacities and trying to get this to blend and, and flow a little bit better so below this it's bigger So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hit Command T, I'm going to rotate this a little bit, so it's flat. Alright, that looks better. Alright, let's see, looks like this mask, we want a little black here, so I went over that edge, that's good. Okay, that looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this dandelion. I'm just going to drag this over. And we're going to reduce the size of this. I needed the full width there, so it looks pretty good. And we're going to change the blending mode here. Let me get rid of this. So this blending mode is going to go... To multiply, you can see it's it's losing the darks. But if we switch over here to lighten, now we're we're kind of blending the two images together. Now we're going to switch here and do the same thing. I think I did lighten before, but I didn't like it. Yeah, I think I did overlay. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, that's a cool effect. All right, so we're going to take this mask and we're going to drag this up here. And that doesn't look good, so we're not going to do that. So we'll just make a mat mask, hit select. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of, of use black and kind of paint out. So it's just kind of what we did before, keeping raise this up a little higher so here we want to keep all this pretty natural looking and then we want to fade so as we want to fade I'm going to lower this down to a few percent and made it just kind of go over this and then over this Just gonna zoom in so I can see a little bit better and we're gonna clean all this up. Still got it in a little bit of opacity here. much cleans that area up. So we're just kind of transitioning now and blending these areas. So I'm going to lower this down a little bit more. Usually I use a bigger brush then. Still a little bit much here. Get rid of that one a little bit. We're just making a transition here. I don't want anything here too much. some of those lines see how that really started to blend into there that looks good if 
I want to open that up, I can always go into this mask and get some white. Just brighten that area. So once again, we have that transition just like we did before. Go to erase. We're doing the same thing. We're going to make this really soft. Change this flow way down. And this is just removing some of that area. <clears throat> in this layer where I kind of filled in the black, just so we have a little bit better transition. All right. So it looks pretty good. I mean, I could sit here and go over this forever. Um, and constantly adjust that color there and get this until the blend is exactly how I want it I might actually go in here and just kind of I might soften just this area a little bit so I've got my mask transition is not so harsh back there all right that looks cool and so that's it that is how you blend and do a composite or what's called multiple exposure so I use three images in this one um, one sort of a background one your subject which definitely needs to be a silhouette um, you don't want them looking straight on to you or it doesn't look right and then sort of an overlay and really the trick with a lot of doing blending and multiple exposures is your images. You know, having that strong contrast lets you able in a variety of different ways to drop one part out and keep the other part in. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. You learned something. Uh, any comments or questions, you can leave those below.